What's going on everybody? My name is Mr. Alex. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. How are you doing today? The Summer Beach event is here on RuneScape 3 and I'm going to go over what's available, what you need to do and also, can you make money doing this? Yes you can, I'm going to show you how. Okay, so a few things to point out. First thing you'll notice is on the left hand side of the screen over there you'll see a temperature gauge. This one right here. This tells you how hot you are during the event and you can reset it only three times a day it used to be unlimited but now it's only three times a day by licking an ice cream which you get from doing the various skills around the event seriously why is it only three times a day now i used to love doing this afk all day for the entire time and now we can only do it three times i'm annoyed doesn't matter we can still make money from this and we can still have fun so the first event I'm going to talk about is the Sand Castle building game. This is very self-explanatory. This is really easy. All you need to do is click on the various mounds of sand and you build a sand castle to get the most XP per hour and therefore the most rewards And for your time. What you want to do is look at the foreman. His name is George and he's going to call out a, a town. It's either going to be the Grand Exchange, it's going to be uh, the desert, it's going to be the... The, the wizard sand tower uh, so like the um what is it called the wizard tower it's called the wizard i don't know why that brain fog for, for no reason there. it's called the wizard's tower and you also have lumbridge castle now there are ways to identify which one it is if you miss what he says if it's a wizard then it's obviously the wizard's tower if it's duke horatio then it's the lumbridge castle if it is ozan then it is the sand pyramid and if it is a Grand Exchange Clerk, then it is the Grand Exchange. All you need to do is look out for which NPC is standing there, or see what George Foreman says, or Foreman George, it's not George Foreman, copyright. See what he says, and then click the relevant mound, build the sandcastle. Jobs are good, and you get construction XP. Pretty good. Moving on to my favourite skill in this event. It's a Dungeoneering Hole very very easy all you need to do is click the hole you wait about a minute and then you come out the hole you do it again and you get experience every three seconds now for me i'm level 92 so i was getting consistently around 134 to 145 xp every three seconds which made it so i was getting around about 140 to 150k an hour it's amazing moving on to the right here we've got the cooking plot we've got various different uh areas we've got the chopping board we've got the grill and that's going to give you cooking experience now there is a way to get farming experience as well and that is by picking coconuts from palm trees now it's not very good experience but it's experience nonetheless down south here we have the bodybuilding podiums where players will stand on a particular podium an interface will pop up and you have to copy what greta and ivan are doing this will grant you strength xp there is also a fishing spot towards the east and a couple of mini games that you can play as well. If you look down south as well, you'll also see these various huts. These are various portals that you can activate for quick teleports to various locations. Now by default, Archaeology, Anachronia and the Familiarization portal is open by default. But you can change it to the Big Chim Chumper, the Cathixian Caches, Evil Trees, Shooting Stars, Sinkholes and the fish flingers so if you don't want any of those three you can change it and then you've got a free portal for a month pretty good let's talk about the big thing that happens once every hour and that is claudia it's a boss that appears right here in this massive pool and you literally en masse everyone in the area will attack it you'll kill it and you'll get some rewards pretty easy you're gonna die um it's literally just a case of attacking it, doing as much damage as you can, get the boss to die, you'll get a reward. Happy days! Speaking of which, let's talk about the rewards that you can get and the potential money you can make from this event as well. So whilst getting the main things you're going to be getting are the cocktails and the ice creams. Now the ice creams, as I've already mentioned, are used to reset the temperature gauge for your player. Now you can only use this three times. Once you've used it up, you have to wait 24 hours to be able to use it again, which means that this area is not going to be usable whilst you're in the red. Now, the cocktails grant you experience bonuses 
Um, the purple Lumbridge, for example, gives you 2% XP bonus stackable up to 10% uh, on artisan skills. The lemon sour is for support skills. That's 2% again stackable up to 10%. The pineapple teeny is for gathering skills. And the pink fizz is for combat skills. Now these stack up to 10%. So if you have five of them, you can have an extra 10%. And I think it works anywhere in game. It doesn't have to be here. On to the thing that's going to make you the most money. That is tokens. Now you will receive tokens in the form of um, paper tokens. These ones uh, cannot be sold. So you can only redeem these. These could be necklace tokens, sandals, beachwear. Lots of different various tokens that exist. The ones that are going to make you money are the gold ones that are not papered. They're not noted. Uh, these ones are going to make you some money. So let's, for example, look at the Menopos Parasol token. Right click that. At the moment, it says that's going for a million GP. It's a brand new token, so it's probably going to go for a little bit more. Might be worth keeping hold of it because it might go up in value. Now, here's a good money maker if you have oddments to spare. This oddment store here, which is located to the north, right next to the Dungeoneering Hole. I've had a look through and I've checked not all of the tokens, I don't have that many oddments, but I've checked a fair amount. And what I found is that if you go into the 2018 tab, the Banana Boat Mount token, at the moment, if you buy it, it's 500 oddments each. Now, I bought four of them. If we right click it, 2.1 million GP, which means for 2,000 oddments, you can make. 8 million GP. That's amazing. And it might even go up. It could potentially go down. That's the risk we have to take when we're, we're doing stuff like this. But for an event to give money like this, which is pretty insane if you're a new player, getting 8 million GP is... It will set you up for ages. But there we go.